The CRD4 requires institutions to have in place an Internal Capital Adequacy Assessment Process ICAP and an Internal Liquidity Adequacy Assessment Process ILAP. In this context, the EBA published in November 2016 the final guidelines intended to ensure convergence of supervisory practices in the assessment of ICAP and ILAP as required by the SREP. Further, in January 2016, the ECB published its expectations on ICAP and ILAP together with a description of what ICAP and ILAP related information institutions should submit and in November 2018, following the two draft guides launched in March 2018, the ECB published final guides to the ICAP and to the ILAP with the aim to develop a more detailed set of supervisory expectations regarding these two processes. In particular, the EBA final guidelines include a number of general considerations relating to, among others, the proportionality principle, operational procedures or cross-border banking groups. Moreover, the final guidelines collect common information to ICAP and ILAP, specific information on each one of them, as well as information about quality assurance and conclusions on the results. For its behalf, the ECB supervisory expectations include an harmonized collection of information and specific supervisory expectation on ICAP and ILAP. Finally, the ECB final guides to the ICAP and to the ILAP set out seven principles for the SSM guide on each one of these processes relating to governance, management framework or material risks, among others.